This episode is brought to you by Skillshare. Is the $14,000 manually focusing only Leica Noctilux M 75mm f1.25? We are talking about a lens that basically costs 14 grand per kilogram, an utterly extravagant anachronism, or one of the greatest manual focus lenses ever created, ironically finding the fullest technical expression not on a rangefinder M for which it was designed, but instead on a state-of-the-art EVF and IBIS-equipped Leica SL2, SL2S? Or is it something else? Hey everybody, I'm Hugh Brownstone for Three Blind Men and an Elephant, and today I want to give you a quick take on Leica's brilliant but eye-wateringly expensive Noctilux M75 f1.25. I'll just cut to the chase. On the one hand, and not to put too fine a point on it, yes, for many, most of us, this Noctilux is an extravagant anachronism. It is an eye-wateringly expensive manual focus only lens, which, though released only four years ago, was designed for a camera developed more than half a century ago, and neither time nor materials science, computer-aided design, manufacturing and logistics, sensor technology, autofocus technology, the competitive landscape, certainly not our expectations, has stood still. On the other hand, it is something altogether different, unique, and beautiful. Truly, one of the greatest manual focus lenses ever made, and if you have the wherewithal and the perspective to see it this way, a meticulously crafted and individually tested low-volume lens of exceptional performance, especially considering its size, if not its weight, a lens that will demand the best from you, an heirloom, and a time machine, a talisman that practically whispers into your ear, slow down, see with intent, see what's really in front of you, see what's important. If you're like me, you might even hear a little humility, a little wisdom, please. Try to maintain a perspective with a broader sweep than annual upgrade cycles, the last Oprah interview, or some absolutely know-nothing's latest idiotic rage tweet. Then again, if you're the kind of person with the wherewithal, but who is also impatient and who will be unhappy unless you nail focus every time, dude, don't buy this lens because if you do, you will have bought the wrong lens or used it on the wrong camera because yes, it is better on a mirrorless full-frame high-resolution EVF IBIS-equipped camera like the SL2 or SL2S. Again, technically speaking, anyway. Maybe even this little guy, if Sigma someday creates an EVF for it. That would be really interesting. Or any number of other mirrorless cameras, for that matter, full frame or smaller, from Leica or other companies, because a lens this shallow and this performant demands a level of precision in framing and focusing in the kind of steady hand that simply exceed the capabilities of most mere mortals using even the latest M. There's a reason why the Nocti has its own built-in quarter-20 tripod socket. Oh, and isn't this a kick in the head? The minimum shutter speed necessary to use this lens wide open in broad daylight without an ND filter exceeds the fastest shutter speed available on any M, digital or otherwise. Finally, just in case you're wondering, no, you do not need to spend anything remotely like this kind of money to acquire an outstanding lens with a usable approximation of the Nocti's field of view and depth of field. If you are a committed Leica-file, you need look no further than Leica's own one-third the price, less than half the weight, less intrusive in the viewfinder $4,300 Aposumicron M75 F2, or if you have an L-mount camera, their 5300 Aposumicron SL75 F2. If these are too rich for you and you are not wedded to an M body, you will find Sigma's autofocusing $1,100 DGDN8514 and 65F2 just superb, no excuses needed. If you are wedded to the M, I understand, but find that the Apo M75 is still too rich for you. You can always look for a used Elmert 92.8, one of my favorite lenses of all time, often selling these days on eBay for less than 1000 bucks, which is even smaller, lighter, and less intrusive still in the viewfinder.
If you're shooting with another brand, Sony, Canon, Nikon, you name it, you will find 85 1.4s directly from them or from Zeiss, Tamron, and of course, Sigma, maybe others I've not yet tried, that are capable of gorgeous capture. None of which kept me from being absolutely inspired by this lens in particular to create images back out once again on the streets of New York like this. Yeah, it was a privilege to shoot with one. Thank you, Leica, for making it available to me. John, you know who you are. Curse you for showing it to me in the first place. And to all of you, our dear YouTube viewers, stay safe, be smart, and remember to pay attention to what is truly important. This video was brought to you by Skillshare an online learning community with literally thousands of curated classes on everything from photography, film, video, and music, all in my sandbox, to web development, business analytics, entrepreneurship, and more. But the thing I really like about Skillshare is the breadth of the subjects it covers, allowing for the serendipity of classes outside of one's obvious focus to tie in beautifully with and expand upon that which excites us. I'm talking about a creative whack on the side of the head by forgetting all about drool-worthy gear and instead taking a break to hone one's eye. Try embracing the limitations of our smartphones, for example, with Dale McManus's iPhone Photography, how to take pro photos on your iPhone. Last but not least, dead space. This is a good way to capitalize on a great photo with minimal searching. Dead space is considered any space behind a subject that does not have other elements to distract the viewer from the subject. Use it to highlight a single subject with nothing more than a wide open area. This is achieved best with backgrounds that are very far away or empty or have one general tone of color. And you can use rule of thirds with dead space to mix things up and bring a little more tension into your shot. You just may find that your smartphone is far less limiting than one's own preconceived notions about what we need to take great shots or one's willingness to put in the real work newbie or wizened pro, dabbler or deep diver. Membership access to Skillshare's catalog of constantly expanding workshops opens up a world of learning and sharing with your instructors and fellow members ad-free and on your schedule, usually in under an hour, for less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. So check them out. The first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership to help you explore your creativity. Thanks, Skillshare. If you like what you've seen here today, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, join the conversation below because this is an incredible audience. If you'd like a copy of our Streets of New York, the book, head over to www.3bmep.com slash books. If you'd like to schedule a one-on-one -on -one video session with me for a portfolio review, explore or hone your artistic voice, select gear and more, sign up at www.3bmep.com slash booking. Finally, consider supporting our work by using our no-cost-to-you affiliate links down below. Picking up some official three blind men and an elephant swag at 3bmep.threadless.com. Sending coffee money via PayPal, or best of all, join us as a patron over at Patreon. However you choose to support us, as always, we thank you for it.